Glenn Ford here. Spent nearly 30 years on death row for a crime he didn't commit. According to the Innocence Project in New Orleans, Ford spent 29 years, three months and five days of his life in solitary confinement on death row. An innocent man, years behind bars, spending every waking moment wondering if this would be the week he dies. Well, last year, Ford was exonerated. He had been the longest serving death row inmate in the U.S. at the time of his release. And just yesterday, Glenn Ford died. He only tasted freedom for a few months after losing his entire adult life. The prosecutor who helped put Ford behind bars would come to regret his role in Ford's wrongful conviction. He has since apologized to Ford both in an open letter and then during an emotional meeting in person. ABC News captured that encounter. Mr. Ford. Mario, how you doing? How are you? I'm doing all right. You know, I've thought about this for a long, long time. I want you to know that I am very sorry. And I wish it's a, it sustained on me that will be with me until I go to my grave. And uh, I wasn't a very good person at all. So I, I apologize for that. Right, but then it still cost me 31 years of my life and death, nothing at the end but death because it gave me from six to eight months to live. There's nothing to say sufficient to, to give you those 30 years back. It happened, it happened. And I'm sorry I can't forgive you. I really am, I really am. I understand. Okay. I, I do and I wish you, I wish you well and I wish you nothing but the best. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And may God bless you. You too. You take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, you too. Glenn Ford was 65 years young when he died of lung cancer. The prosecutor, the man who wrongfully convicted him, is now calling for the abolishment of the death penalty. I want to talk more about uh, Glenn Ford's story with his attorney, William Most. William, welcome. Thank you. I mean, I woke up, I read this first thing this morning, and was just, I felt such grief for him and his family and was horrified just by this entire story. But I have to wonder, in the few months he had tasting freedom as an adult, what did he do? What did he see? Glenn was an inspirational person. And even after so many injustices had been heaped upon him, he focused on the future. And with the 15 months of freedom he had, he was able to go to California and see his children and his many grandchildren, which brought him a lot of joy. And he was able to spend time with friends and, and loved ones in New Orleans and, and go out and enjoy the festivals and music and everything New Orleans has to offer. So there was a lot of sadness, but a lot of joy as well.